Good morning, Good morning Colts. Colts. I'm your wonderful host, Aiden. And I'm your more wonderful host, Al. And this is KTV from Monday, March 13th. Phew. Good thing it's not Friday the 13th. That could have been really bad. You can say that again. Anyways, let's watch a video about the five different spirit days next week from leadership. Hey, Colts. Just so you know, spirit week is coming up. Monday the 13th is... It's Tuesday. Tuesday is... Tacky Tourist Day. Wednesday's Camo Day. Thursday is Celebrity Day. Friday Screen Day! Start dressing up on Monday. Thanks for the video leadership. Colts, make sure to wear green on Friday next week on St. Patrick's Day, or you might get pinched. Thanks for reminding me. On a different topic, I'm hungry. What's for lunch? Glad you asked. For lunch today, we have pizza, tamales, and a spicy chicken sandwich. That reminds me, badminton is going to be free to play at lunch with your friends. Find a partner that is in your grade and come to the gym doors at the beginning of lunch to sign up. And 7th grade will play for the first half of lunch, and 8th grade will play for the second half of lunch. Make sure to be there first in line because first come, first serve. I can't wait to play badminton at lunch. Oh, that reminds me. Let's check in with the sports corner. Good morning, Colts. This is Sports Corner for Monday, March 13, 2023. Great job to our Kenilworth wrestling team at the NVL Championship Tournament. Don't worry, our results will be in later this week. In Casa News, their softball team played San Marin Varsity and won 13-4, and JV won 13-1. Batman is starting at Casa, so if you like Batman here, maybe try out at Casa. That's all for sports. Now back to the KTV studio. Thanks for the sports report, Garrett. Oh, I just heard we got a video from our anchor, Alec about Esperanza Spalding. Let's watch it. Esperanza Spalding graduated in 2005 from Berkeley where she majored in professional music. She made history upon graduation by becoming one of the youngest instructors in the college's history. This was just the tip of the iceberg. However, as Spalding went on in 2011 to become the first jazz musician to win the Grammy for Best New Artist, beating out Justin Bieber, Drake, Florence and the Machine, and Moonford and Sons. Spalding grew up in a single parent home in Portland, Portland Oregon, her first musical inspiration came out at the age of four when she saw Yo-Yo Mom play classical cello on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. She taught herself to play violin at an early age and earned a spot in the Chamber Music Society of Oregon. Spalding only picked up bass after her high school music teacher walked in on her messing around with the instrument and taught her bass line on the spot. A chance moment launched Spalding on her musical career that included attending Berkeley on a full scholarship, winning multiple Grammys, and performing at the White House at the request of President Barack Obama. In 2011, Spalding won the Grammy for Best New Artist, unprecedented for a jazz musician up against high-profile pop, hip-hop, and rock artists. In 2013, Spalding won two Grammys for Best Vocal Album and Best Instrumental Arrangement. Spalding continues to release albums showcasing her unique bass and vocal styles. I think I did a pretty good job on PSA. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I heard that we have a PSA made by Michael about Yellowstone. Let's check it out. On March 1st, 1872, President Grant signs the bill to create the nation's first national park at Yellowstone. Abundant game and mountain streams teeming with fish attracted the Native Americans to the region. The key to Yellowstone's future as a national park, though, was the 1871 exploration under the direction of the government geologist Ferdinand Hayden. Their images provided the first visual proof of Yellowstone's wonders and caught the attention of the U.S. Congress. That's pretty amazing PSA, Michael. Alec, I'm pretty sure we have a dance coming up, but I can't remember what the theme is. The theme for the dance is Hollywood. Let's learn more about the dance by this video made by leadership. Thanks for the video leadership. 
The dance sounds really fun. I know that I will definitely be going. I'm planning to go. I wonder what the weather is going to be like. Let's check in with the weather studio. Good morning, Colts. Hope you're having a great Monday. This is the weather studio for March 13, 2023. This morning, we will have a 30% chance of rain, but in the evening, there will be a 70% chance of rain. The highs are in the mid-50s to 60s. The lows are in the 40s to mid-50s. Why didn't the light rain hit the target? It just missed. Ha 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 ha. That's it for the weather studio. Now back to Alec and Aiden in the KTV studio. Thanks, Weather Studio. Well, it seems our KTV episode has to come to the end. Not quite, Aiden. We still have one more video by the one and only, Mr. Mori. And uh, as I mentioned, it is all about the acronym CARES, showing your creativity, your accountability, your respect, uh, your empathy, and your success. So teachers have these cards. Uh, they'll be putting your name on it and checking off where you might have um, demonstrated one of these characteristics. Um, won't happen every day, um, but we do, reward, we do want to reward you when you are demonstrating those things. I've handed out a couple myself. When you receive it, take it, make sure your name is on it, and then you will put it in the box here in the library. And then what we do is we will be doing drawings each week uh, for wards. Uh, for example, we're going to be doing drawings um, for this week um, for gift cards. And so some students will be earning those. At the end of the month, we'll be doing some drawings for possible larger rewards, um, meaning larger monetary value. Um, and then we're going to be coming up with some of those rewards where such as duct taping me to a wall, or maybe shaving my head. Um, so those will all be involved with either the card um, or maybe some classroom um, competitions. But if you do receive one of these cards, congratulations, thank you, and make sure you drop by the library and put it in the box. Thanks for the video, Mr. Mori. But please tell me that is our last video. Yes, that's our last one. Hope you have a great start to your week, Colts. And, and that's, that's KTV. KTV.